this morning. I am completely short of words. This is not right. I am here to understand why all of this happened. This is so untimely. How could this happen now? I'm so sorry. This one, wherever you are. I want you to know that I'm here. I'm here for you. I'll extend the same love you extended to me to your family. I promise to take care of them. Your wife and your little daughter Chelsea. They're going to be in my custody. I'll do everything in my power to make sure they never lack. I'll be there for them. This is my promise to you, Desmond.
no it's okay. It's okay. Don't 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 stay with me now. I'm money. Go. You can walk back. Desmond will leave me so soon. After our dreams and aspirations. Anita, can I really cope with this tragedy that befell me? Toby, I know it's not gonna be easy. But you just have to be strong for him and your daughter as well. The only son and should be God. I'm getting better. I miss him come so on, much. Come on, come off it, come off it, come off it. Are you gonna mourn him forever? You have to brace yourself and face the future. Take care of yourself, take care of your daughter. By the way, how is your mother-in-law taking it? She's just there, looking up to God. By the way, I haven't seen Chelsea around, where is she? She went to school. Come on, drink up. buy some ice cream for you. So why don't you go upstairs and change? When you come down, we can go get some ice cream. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Pete. Oh. My <laughs> <laughs> I like it when she says that. Oh. Chris, yeah. thank you so much for everything. Okay. I really appreciate it. No, you don't have to thank me. Everything is fine. Trust me. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, wait. There's something on your, on your hair. Thank you. <laughs> what strand is this? Let me just finish off. Just a strand. Hey, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hey, Jeff, what's up? Um, good. Hi. 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 <laughs> not at all. You're not. Okay. <laughs> so, come on, come and sit down. Okay, thank you. Just sit down. Sorry, I was just supposed to be here. Ah, okay. Ah. So, what's going on? Nothing. Thank God you're here. Yeah. Chris wants to take my daughter and I out for ice cream. But since you're here, maybe you will join us. That's, that would be nice. <laughs> I mean, okay. everybody loves ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excuse me. Let me go check on my daughter. <laughs> hey. What game are you playing? Turn for one, this thing is so difficult. Stop, 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 st
What's wrong with you? I saw you, I know. Listen, whatever you do, just remember that my eyes are on you. Jeff, are you, are you alright? I'm very fine. Have you gone crazy? I'm good. Because today, we are moving something from here. Only God knows what will happen tomorrow. I'm here. Straight beside the camera, going to buy it together. Let's go. So, Jeff, what's up? How's everything? Were you able to close the deal? Um, uh, yes. All thanks to God, I did. Uh, oh, bro, I'm still not happy, man. Jeff, Jeff, I understand how you feel. But you must know that it will take a while before things get back to normal. I mean, Desmond is not around. Speaking about Desmond, I really do miss him. And I was thinking of going to see his family sometime this week. But, um, unfortunately, I'm going to Abuja first thing in the morning tomorrow. Mm, that's true, that's true. Anyway, represent us well. Mm. Um, as for the family, I promised myself that I will um, take care of them. You see, especially the wife. I will make sure I try my best and take care of her. Um, I'm not feeling very bad, man. I feel for that woman. But it's well, it's well. You see, I'm very, very happy you're thinking towards that direction because of course. I know how unserious you can be. <laughs> of course, I'm thinking towards that direction. I mean, in the absence of this month, yeah. I'm the realest. I mean, I'm, I'm his main G. But it's, it's all good, bro. It's just sad. I know. Um, hope you slept well. Yes. Um, actually, I got this for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Thank you. It's I nothing. really appreciate Come this. Don't say this thing. I'm just representing my late friend. Anything to make you smile. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I you never are... knew my late husband had good friends. <sighs> now you know. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. What about Chris? Oh, Chris. You know, to see Chris these days will be very hard. Mm. He's just busy running around. He's trying to prepare his wedding to Lucia. And you know how <laughs> the plans can be. Those two, they are so in love. They love each other so much. Really? I pray God will give me that kind of love. <laughs> Chris, bad <that> guy. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, man. yeah. I'm happy you like it. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, I've been quite busy. Sorry I haven't been around in a while. Yeah. Busy? I understand. Making preparations on settling down, it's not easy. I beg your pardon? Settling down? Who's settling down? <laughs> it's no longer in news. Oh, 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 I see. You're actually waiting to tell me at the right time, huh? Okay. I know I'm in a relationship, but trust me, I haven't even proposed yet. For real? Yes. I thought the marital process would soon be announced. Well, I thought it would happen soon, but the sudden demise of your late husband, Desmond, it's still a fresh wound that has to heal. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to remind you of the past. It's okay. It's just that I miss this man so much. I know. But you have to stay strong. At least for your daughter, Chelsea. You have to. Speaking about Chelsea, how is she? Oh, she's fine. She has been asking after you. She misses you a whole lot. <laughs> Can't wait to see her. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Water is right. So, how is everything generally? Everything is fine. Thank God for everything. Okay. Jeff. Yes. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Do you know who collected the autopsy report from the hospital? 
I, I, you have seen of the autopsy result of what you said? Well, Anita requested for it. But I can't seem to remember anything about it. Did she tell you why she wanted it? No. It's alright. So, how's Chelsea? She's good. Do you need anything? No. Because if you do, just let me know, okay? Should I offer you anything? No, no, no. No. No! I won't take that. What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing about Chris? What does Debbie say in him? Eyes all those wild on Debbie? Eh? Our own late friend's wife. Because, because Desmond is dead. He's not using this as an avenue to choke this woman. No, Deborah, I will not allow this happen to you. No. You are my friend's wife. You are my late friend's wife. This moment, I will stand for you and make sure I save Deborah from this thing that is coming. came to give you a piece of information. As a matter of fact, has been bothering me. Yeah. Yes, I can't even sleep. Let me see. What yeah. is it? I think um, Chris and Debbie, they have something they are doing. I think they are dating. Dating? Yes. How is that possible? I saw them with my own eyes. The kind of mood that I saw, you know, see the way they were falling on each other's body, smiling, touching. No, I knew something is going on and it's pinning me. <gasps> Debbie and Chris? Yes. But, but, but that's not possible. I, I'm telling you, it's very, very possible. Chris is a loyal friend. There's no way. But that's, that's why it's surprising me. Surprising me. I don't know why you would behave like that. See, Mama, I want you to go and pay them a visit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you want to go, go in the morning because I am sure he sleeps there. He sleeps in my son's house. Exactly. So painful. I am definitely going there. Okay. Yes. Ah. I must catch them red-handed. Yes, yes, Mama. Hey, Mama, please don't don't feel like I am giving this information just to cause trouble. It's just that this one is my very good friend. I mean, he was my good friend. For the fact that he is dead doesn't mean his wife will not be messing around. I owe my loyalty to him because he made me who I am today. I, I cannot stand and watch his family mess around. I can appreciate that. I understand. Oh my God, I can't believe this. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. And Chelsea is right there. That's the problem. It's the problem. To just be using maybe ice cream or this little little gift to blind the innocent I... girl. Do you understand? Uh, Mama, we, I will, I will be on my No, way. please, please come in. No, 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 I, no, 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 Mama, don't worry. I have a meeting. Yeah, let me run along. Yeah? Take care. Okay, you too. Yeah. Debbie and Chris? In my son's house. This is ugly. <sighs> Baby, are you alright? I mean, you've been keeping mute all day. I mean, since the death of your friend Desmond, you haven't been yourself. 
Come on, talk to me. What is it? I'll be fine. I um I'm just short of words. This month was more than a friend to me. I know. I know. He was like a brother. He was everybody's friend. He was very kind and generous. Everyone liked him because he was always talking about God and helping people. My name is Chris. I'm new in this school, like I told you. But, but I, I, I'm stranded. As I speak with you, I don't have anywhere to go to. The hostel rooms are all occupied. The ones left are too expensive for me. Please, I don't know if you can help me. Can I follow you to your house? I don't mind walking for you, washing your clothes, your plates, so I can raise money to, you know, pay for my accommodation. Please. That's tough. Really tough. Why did you wait until now to look for accommodation? Hey, bros, it's, 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 it's a long story. Oh, it's, but it's if okay. I try to explain to you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know how it feels. Um, like I said, my name is Desmond. Okay. I'm a hundred level bus admin. Oh, hundred level? Yes. Oh, me, me too. Same here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you will come with me to my house. I'll come with you. Uh, yes. I don't stay alone. Yes, I have a flatmate already. Okay. Yeah, but that's not going to be a problem. No, no, no. no. That's not, I don't have a problem yeah, with that. It's not going to be a problem. I, I will convince him and I'm sure he will like you. No, he will like me. Oh. Because I don't have any problem. I don't, I, I don't make trouble. I, I'm a very I'm gentle man. But most importantly, you have to make me a promise that you won't make me regret this. No, but boss, I cannot make you regret it now. Are you not the one helping me? I have to appreciate everything you do for me. Bros, bros, see, you, you're, you're just like an angel sent to my life right now. Because I was stranded. I was just standing here. I don't even have anywhere to go to until you came. You're just like an angel to me now. You know it's rare to convince people this is. Yes, that, that's what I'm telling you. You're just like an angel. I cannot do anything to disappoint you. Trust me. See, I'm a very gentle man. I, I don't make trouble. Go into the cameras, man. When a loved one leaves, it seems so Uh, yes, you're welcome to my house. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, this is where I stay. Come on, you don't need to thank me, all right? You see, in life, we have to be helpful. Nobody knows tomorrow. Who knows? I may need your help tomorrow. <laughs> so you're welcome. Ah! Ah! Jeff. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, um, Chris, this is my roomie I told you about. Okay. And, uh, Jeff, this yeah. is Chris. Oh, okay. And um, Chris is staying with us now. He was? He is staying with us now. He's living with us, actually. Yes. Nice to meet you, Jeff. That's what I'm going to say. Huh? Sure, Lucy. Just, just relax, okay? Hello, Papa. Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. What, 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 what was the meaning of that? What? Why would you bring a singer to the house? Why can't you just go out there, pick up somebody from the street and bring him to the house to, to live with us? For what now? That's too much of a risk. Listen to me, Jeff. Chris needed my help. And 
That is exactly what I'm doing. Helping him. Do you know him before? What if he's a criminal? What if he's a kidnapper? Assassin? Murderer? Everything? Thief? You don't even know. Oh, you're, 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 just, you're looking because he's fair. He yeah, might just be disguising. My brother, you need to wake up. Oh. You need to wake up. Can we just bring, to, uh, bring somebody to the house like, like that? Jeff, Jeff, I understand all that. Huh? Alright? I understand all your points. I get it. But you know me. Mm. You know it's in my nature to help people. Mm. Helping people gives me joy. I can't just stand and watch such a young man suffer when I can actually help him. Yes, sir. As Jack Bauer now. Hmm? As Melin. Black Panther. In fact, let me hear you. Wakanda forever. You want to carry somebody? See, let this guy go back to the street. I know why I'm telling you this thing. Because you don't know him. You can't. This world you are living in is a very dangerous world. How can you bring this guy to the house? Jeff, you can call me whatever you like. But Chris stays. And that's final. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. No problem. When it will happen, do not say I did not say my own. No. I don't talk when I'm finished. No problem. Come on. Loosen up, man. Loosen up. Listen, this world would be a better place if we can jointly help one another when need arises. Yeah. Don't be too stiff. Listen up. All right? Be accommodating, man. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> Chris. Please, eh? This one. Yes. Just relax, okay? Relax. See, if your friend doesn't like me, it's fine. I I'll just go. I, I don't want to cause any trouble between two of you because I you have tried. You have tried for me. Increase. You have tried for me. Just calm down. All right. Jeff is not like that. Yes, he was bothered about something. Not basically because you're here. All right. I don't like holding back when helping people. Okay. So just relax. Feel free. Oh, you are in your house now. Relax. So his attitude towards me, I, 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 I don't want to cause any trouble between two of you. No, no. If he doesn't want me, I can just go. You are not causing any trouble. Your presence here is very much welcomed. All right? Yeah. Yes. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. I'm fine. Oh. Yes. Please, tell me whenever you need anything in this house. This is your house. Just feel free. You can use the kitchen. Use everywhere. Go to the fridge, we have food stuffs, prepare food, eat. This is your place. That's one. Yes. You're a nice guy, you. How? Thank you so much. I really do have, I don't know how to thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you're you welcome. very much. Yeah. Just relax, thank okay? You. Just thank feel you. free. Feel I, free. I, I, I wanted to tell you something. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and remember I told you I couldn't make up for my accommodation. So I'm thinking, maybe you can have this one. Add it to the one you have, so you can pay for the rent, since I am staying here with you now. Chris, did I ask you for any money? I did not. So relax, I've paid for the rent. Keep it to yourself. Ah, huh. Are you sure? Come on, relax. Feel free, feel free. It's your house, relax. Okay. And um, but what do that brother will not say? Ah, Chris. Can you just relax? Relax, bro. It's my crib. I call short here. Okay. Yes. Right. So just relax. Thank you. Yeah. Thank You're you welcome. Much. You're welcome once again. Thank you. All right. Oh. Uh, Death was untimely. I'm so sorry, Desmond. I'm sorry things turned out this way. But wherever you are, I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. I'll do everything in my power to take care of your family, to make sure they never lack, most especially your daughter. You loved her so much. I love her just like you loved her. Mm. I'll be a father to her. Rest in peace, my good friend. Rest in peace. It's well. It is well. I just want you to calm down. 
fine. Do I feel that you don't longer have time for us? Or is there something I've, I've done that you're not comfortable with? Uh, no, babe, come on. I've just been busy with work. And you know my business partner is no more, so things have been... I don't know. You mean Desmond? Yes, Desmond. He was very, very good in coming up with business ideas. And it's a bit difficult for me right now. I almost thought my company doesn't mean anything to you, okay? No, nothing changed. It's just that this one is no more. And things are a bit tough for me because, you know, like I said, he was very, very good with business. Marketing, business ideas and whatnot. I understand. I'll, I'll make it up to you, I promise you, okay? Thank God! Now I feel like a woman. <clears throat> So Jeff, what's up? How's everything? Were you able to close the deal? Um, uh, yes. All oh, thanks to God, I did. Uh, oh, bro, I'm still not happy, man. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I understand how you feel. But you must know that it will take a while before things get back to normal. I mean, Desmond is not around. Speaking about Desmond, I really do miss him. And I was thinking of going to see his family sometime this week. But um, unfortunately, I'm going to Abuja first thing in the morning tomorrow. Mm, that's true. That's true. Anyway, represent us well. Mm -hmm. um, as for the family, I promised myself that I will uh, take care of them. You see, especially the wife. I will make sure I try my best and take care of her. Uh, I'm just feeling very bad, man. I feel for that woman. But it's well. It's well. You see, I'm very, very happy you're thinking towards that direction because of I know how serious you can be. <laughs> of course, I'm thinking towards that direction. I mean, in the absence of Desmond, yeah. I'm the realist. I mean, I'm, I'm his main G. But it's all good, bro. It's just sad. I know. It's alright. Yeah, um, what's up, Chris? Hi, Jeff, what's up? How? Now? Well, it's weekend, we can't do that now. Listen, I understand that this is weekend, but you see, you know, we need to submit the report, and um, it's based on the outcome of the meeting. Ah, uh, Jeff. Ah, uh, uh, Jeff, no, now, this... Okay, okay, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just walk towards. It's okay. I'll be there. I'll be there. That's fine. Babe, what's up? I mean, um, Jeff, can... Jeff just called me. Uh, my attention is needed. <laughs> it, it, it's actually a business meeting. I, I, I am supposed to be there, like right now. But you're supposed to take me out. Babe, I know, I know. I just got the call now. It's not my fault. I just got the call now. Can I go with you? 
babe, you can't go with me because it's a business meeting. You're going to be bored. I guess. I just got the call now from Jeff. I, I wasn't planning to go to work today. It's okay. It's okay. It's all this business, business, business. You never had time for me. You're supposed to take me out babe, and come on now. But I... Jeff, what's up? I'm here. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, bro. So, so, so sorry. Yes. But I'm here. You're not here. The warehouse is locked. I, I just got a call that um, um, Chelsea's a problem. Yes, she, she's in trouble. I, and Debbie's not at home. Yes. What? Chelsea? What happened? No, no, no. Listen, the associate said they were actually coming and they had a flat tire. So what I want you to do now is, one of us needs to go and pick the associate and the other will just go to Debbie's house. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Just, just calm down. Okay, okay, fine. You know what? Let me go and um, meet the associate, rectify their car problem, and I'll pick them straight to the office. I'll handle it. Just, just rush down to Debbie's house. Please, just make sure Chelsea is fine, okay? Oh, oh okay, okay. On my way, on my way. Are you sure? How's your mom? She went to the gym. She's not home? Mm. Uncle Ken, please come and help me with my assignment. Your assignment? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Hold on now. I need to make a call. Hello? 
Hello? Hi, Jeff. What's up? I am here. I just saw Chelsea and she's perfectly alright. Debbie is not home. Oh, okay. Um, thank God she's good. What's going on? Okay, uh, what about our associate? Um, yes, yes. Um, as a matter of fact, we are together, but uh, we are trying to fix their car. flat tire okay um, why don't you call Tinde to get the mechanic to go assist them whilst I wait for Debbie to get back because Chelsea is the only person at home all right all right sure I, I'll do I'll do just that um, please just wait for her to come back eh? yes Chelsea is the only one at home she's by herself so get Tunde to call the mechanic yes and why don't you discuss business with them whilst I wait for Debbie to get back? All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> wait for Debbie to come back. I'm too sorry, okay? I've been quite busy. But well, let's go do a assignment now, all right? All right. Okay. Have you eaten? Yeah. What did you eat? Did you leave Chelsea by herself? I was worried when I came and I saw her alone. She was actually sleeping when I left for the gym. Okay, that's fine. You look exhausted. Yeah, my leg hurt. I missed my step while walking out. How bad is it? Hmm? How bad is it? Terrible. Okay. I can help you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Mama, what? What am I asking? Um, I was actually helping. Actually, romancing her body? No, 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 no. Right no. in front of your daughter? No, 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 ma but no, ma. That's not. She, she, she had an injury, right? Can't you talk? Mama, he was actually helping me to... You know what? This is sacrilegious. You couldn't even wait to mourn my son, your husband. What? And you're already carrying out this shameful act. Mama, no, no, that, that's totally wrong. I, I was helping her massage. She, she just came in with an injury, right? Mama, that's not... Mama, don't... Is she serious right now? <laughs> oh no, come on. Oh god. Come on. Hello? Hello? Hey Jeff, can you hear me? Now listen to me, there's fire on the mountain. Fire? Which mountain? Listen, if it's about the associate, I have sent the, I am the, the quotation to them. No, 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 I'm not talking about those people. Listen to me. Desmond's mom came to the house and saw me helping Debbie fix her leg. What? Are you serious? Listen, you know you're my guy. Just tell me the truth. Were you, were you actually knocking her? No, 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 no. I, I can't do that now. You know me. Come on, don't pull up to me now. You did knock her when they see you. Listen, just come to the house. Um, okay, okay. Uh, you, you, you are, you're in the house now. Yeah, just come to the house. Just come to the house straight. Right, I'll be on my way. Hi. Yeah. 
Yes! That's it. <sighs> Many are the afflictions of the righteous, and the Lord delivers them all. So much trial, so much pain, but the Lord will bring joy again. Many are the afflictions. I said something was the matter. I had to leave everything I was doing to come here. Desmond's mother was here. Is she asking you to leave the house or give back Desmond's properties? No, no, far from it. That was it. She thinks I'm going out with Chris. Tell me, are you going out with Chris? Anita. I can't believe you're the one asking me this. You of all people shouldn't ask me such questions when you know virtually everything I do. Now tell me. Okay, this was what happened. I returned from the gym not quite long. Okay. I came back with swollen leg. Okay. And then Chris decided to massage it for me. Along the line, the mother bashed in on us. And next thing she started screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She started scream, screaming, accusing me of having something to do with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what funny? What's the meaning of this one now? Didn't you hear what I said? I heard you. The woman might be acting based on what her eyes fed her with at that moment. Listen, all you have to do is go back to her, talk sense into her, make her understand the situation of things when he, she came to the house. Is that okay? It's very simple. Okay. By the way, how's the house like? Still hot, man. Hey, can you try this? Um, I I got to know about it when I came here. It's called a bonnie or something. It's, it's a bonnie, but it's right hot. You try? Huh? It's gonna go next to a day. A bonnie Yeah, whatever. Uh, you tell me a bonnie right. So just try it. Uh, it's gonna work. Cut down. Cut down. Okay. Uh, I, 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 what did you call it again? A bonnie A bonnie A bonnie I will try it. Okay. Uh, so can I go back now? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ma, I, I came to correct the impression you have about Debbie and I. Honestly speaking, we don't have anything in common. Nothing sexual at all. And you came alone? Ma, I, I, I came to explain to you about what you saw. She came in right from the gym. She had an injury on her leg. I was just giving her a harmless massage, nothing more. Actually, you think you're talking to a big fool, right? I know what I saw. You were busy massaging her, and she was there enjoying it. Right in front of my granddaughter. No. What you? You know what? You're done with the explanations. Please get out of my car. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Are you still here? I, I, or are I, you deaf as well? I'm so sorry, ma'am. Please don't, get out! What you saw was... Please, don't... I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. Wait, Barrister, are you trying to say that the money is increasing? Yes, madam. Um, Mrs. Deborah hardly spends money on frivolities. I give it to her that she is a good woman. I don't mean to you know, pry into her affairs, but uh, something came up recently and I decided to find out if she's lavishing the money that her husband made for his daughter, my granddaughter. Madam, you have nothing absolutely to worry about. Like I said before, the account officer confirmed her prudence in finances. Hmm. Then why is she sleeping with him? Is that okay, madam? Hmm? Is that oh, sure, yeah. Perfect. Tell 
different story from what your boyfriend said. Good day, Mama. And what is good about the day? Mama, what you saw was a coincidence. Yeah. I came back from the gym and I met Chris assisting my daughter with her assignment. And then I had a strain in my leg. He decided to help me. And that was when you entered. Oh, really? Oh. What a convenient story. Are you done with your ranting? Because if you're done, you can just leave my house before I do something I will regret. And for your information, my son's money is not to be lavished on that stupid he got of yours that, that spends his time trying to, to, to handle your high libido. Believe me, Mama. You should be able to know what I'm capable of doing. Even if I want to be married, it cannot be without your consent and blessings. Chris is a nice guy that values his relationship with my late husband. And he cares for my daughter Chelsea, your granddaughter. You just mentioned one good name, and that is Chelsea. And you know what? I would appreciate it if you could bring her to spend the weekend with me. Instead of staying in that house and watching you and Chris tango. How oh, disgusting. Believe me, Mama. Are you going to bring her or not? Uh -oh. Or should I come and pick her myself? Okay. I will bring her over the weekend. Good. And thank you. I'm done with you. See, I was busy. When they told me someone was okay. I'll get out of my house. No, are you still here? Get out. Get out and shut the door after you. You need to control that backside. I tried convincing her, but she really thought I disappointed her. Did you go with Chelsea? No, I went alone. I couldn't face being humiliated again in the presence of the only child I live for. You should have gone with Chelsea. Your mother-in-law, I know, wouldn't have humiliated you in front of Chelsea. Okay, what do you propose? This time around, you have to go back with Chelsea and find out if it's wrong for you to remarry. Of course, I can be married after morning. It's just that it's going to be difficult for me to make choice here because Desmond was one of its kind. He's incomparable. I know all about that, Terry. But you never can tell. You just have to be on the same page with her. Okay? It's all right. Let's go in and have lunch. I doubt if I will join you today. I have a whole lot of work to do at the office. I insist. But I'm on a drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just a drink. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Listen, Gabby, I know you're young and vibrant. I would probably want to remind you, but you need to first of all know your husband. Then you can get along with your life. Mama, I am not thinking of remarrying. But if I do, I will let you know. Chris is a nice family friend. Though every woman would want to be with him. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. Like I said, I'm not against you, Mama. But you need to be careful and make sure that whomever you marry takes care of you and my going to take care But, under my watch. <laughs> Chelsea is a symbol of my happiness. I don't joke with her. And, um, secondly, on a second note, um, I would love Chelsea. Come and spend the weekend. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll stay with Grandma. That is good. Don't worry. I'm going to have fun with Grandma. I'll take you to different places. I'll take you to my pizza. <laughs> Mommy, your uncle Chris take me out from the street. Does he take her out? Yes, he is fond of her. He does her assignments 
he drops and picks her up from school. Together. I think Chris is an amazing guy. He cares for you. Chris has filled a certain void in Chelsea's life. I appreciate him. I am happy to have him around. I think he likes you. As well as Jeff. If you asked to make a choice, who would you choose amongst them? Anita! Hmm? Why would you ask me such a question? I will choose none of them. Come on, baby girl. This is the time for you to make drastic move. You never can tell, then you find out his reason for always coming around you. I hope you're right though. Sure. But I will try. Oh, that's my baby girl. <laughs> oh, finally, someone in courage. And it's hard to... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my goodness. Is that my phone? Hey, who's that for? Hello? Hi, Debbie. What? Are you alright? Okay, I'll be I'll be there right now. On my way, on my way. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Hey. Baby, what's going on? Debbie just called. I think she's in distress. Something is wrong. She's sounding very worried. I'll see you shortly, okay? It's my obligation to take you to the hospital, alright? So don't stop me, please. Okay, can you get up? Hello? Hello? Alright, let's, let's just go so I'll take you to the car. Get up. Serious. 
Well, the doctor said um, she needs a lot of rest. Um, she's probably stressed with um, the thought of death mode or something. Well, that's true. But I know with time she'll be fine. I hope so. Hmm? Hey, let me even check how she's so she's her laps are even cold. Uh, let me quickly get her something to eat. I'll be back. Just take care of her. Hmm? Yeah. Man, Chris is there taking care of her as usual. Eh? I don't understand what you mean by as usual. Chris never told me anything about hospital. I mean, we haven't even spoken. Are you serious? Uh, well, anyway, just you, you just need to be observant. Uh, it's not something I just I should tell you. It's not like I'm doing. I don't know. I thought you. Uh, you should have, you should have what is the, keep you informed in this kind of thing. It's just there. It's nothing serious. Maybe you probably. Massaging her, you know, in case of any issue, falling on each other. But it's, but it's nothing. I just say, uh, even why we would decide to go and buy this food is part of giving them privacy, you understand? But all the same, no problem, no problem. Um, I, on my way to get the food, I, I, I saw your girlfriend. Uh, so I just said to come along with her. Baby, how are you doing? I mean, Jeff told me you were very kind enough to bring her to the hospital. I hope she's recovering quick. No, she, she's, um, she's fine. What's, what's really wrong with her? Um, she's okay. The doctor said um, she'll be fine. I, I'm so sorry I didn't get to tell you I was here. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, <laughs> it's good you take care of her. I'm fine, okay? I just need to be good, okay? I need to rush out. To do one or two, and I will get to okay, you. Okay, just fine. just call me if you I'll need call me. You. All, right. All right, okay? You'll be good. Mm, talk to you later. Are you, are you Yes. All right, take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Right, Thank you. I just saw her, so she said she wanted to come, so that's why I. So she's getting better now. Your, your, your girlfriend is troublesome. She insisted she was full of me. She wanted to see me. <laughs> That's your girl, man. Hey. Thank you so much, Chris. I don't know what I would have done without you guys. <laughs> That's okay. And you're very welcome. And enough of the compliments. I mean, this one would do the same for me if he were to be alive. That's right, babes. We're here for you. Chris here is your superman. And I'm your superhero. That's right. If you're ready, we can leave.
Are you alright? Are you doing better to tell me? Listen, this is one problem I have with you. I've told you countless number of times to stop keeping things to yourself. We're all in this house as brothers. Anything that bothers you bothers me. Now look at you, lying here sick. You didn't tell me. Eh? When you know you need a doctor. I have money for that. Come on, let's go to the hospital. You can't live like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put on something, let's go to the hospital. Stand. said you need rest maximum rest all right so whatever activities it is should wait okay lectures should wait library everything should wait until you're fully recovered do you understand me uh, these are the drugs he, he listed out that you should get at the pharmacy for this month yeah these drugs are too expensive come on the most important thing here is your health. Alright? Health is wealth. Don't worry. I will buy the drugs. Okay? Yes, man. Thank you so much. Oh, I don't know how to thank you for all these things you're your doing. Your health is the most important thing to me. And please don't try this next time. Tell me whenever you have issues. Alright? About anything. Just feel free and tell me. Right. Let's go to the pharmacy and get this. you to understand that everything I am doing right now, I'm doing it for Desmond. He was a good man to me. I promise to take care of his family. Please, I am so sorry. I really do not know what came over me. Debbie, I'm very sorry to tell you this. If that happens again, I'll have to stay away from you. I mean, you have to control yourself. If not for anyone, at least for your little daughter Chelsea. And you must know that we're living some parts of our life for this month. Please, do not stay away from us. I, I won't. You. I won't. But if that happens again, I promise you I'll have to. I will try not to. Good. I'll take my leave now. Sure, you are ready to keep your man? Yeah. Yes, of course. 
If you want to keep your man, I think I have a solution. I want you to go and see the late Desmond's mother. But what am I supposed to tell her? Why am I seeing her? What should I tell her? Listen, if you go to her, hmm, tell her that her daughter-in-law is trying to take your man away from you. God forbid. Listen, calm down. Just tell her that her late son's wife wants to steal your joy. And you know the worst part of it that she is still mourning. Huh? I, I won't take that. It will not happen while I'm alive. I will not allow that woman to take away my man. Chris belongs to me. Chris is mine. I won't allow anybody to take Chris away from me. Do you know what? Consider it done. If that's a solution, it is done already. Yeah, I'm that, going that, there. That, just, just, just calm down. Maybe see all this vibration when you get there. You understand? Listen. You just, you just make sure you express your feelings to her. The way it's burning inside of you, give it to her like that. What have I done to deserve all of this? Ah, why, would, why would Chris treat me like I this? Know, why? I don't know. I, don't know. I, can't, I, mean, I can't do that. You understand? But I am sure that that woman can remedy this, this situation. This is, this is bad. Eh? Express yourself to her. She should know that her, her, her daughter-in-law that's still mourning wants to see you. Just job. imagine. Yeah. Who does that? I'm telling you, who does, who does that? that? Who does that? I, I know what to do. Thank you very much, Jeff, no, 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 for no, no, everything. No, 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 I appreciate it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't, don't try it. Just go straight away. If as a matter of fact, let me drop you okay. at that junction so that you just thank go. Thank you very much. Thank that, you. Uh, it's me. You understand? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What would I have done without you? Okay, oh, my God. Good day, my dear. Mm. Do I know you from somewhere? Not really, ma. I happen to know you through your late son, Desna. And Chris's girlfriend. Oh, really? And how is Chris? How is he doing? Not well. In fact, that's the major reason why I came. I came here in respect of my relationship with Chris. Mama, Debbie is breaking my home. Debbie is breaking my home. The marriage plans I have with Chris is gradually turning into a joke. I need Debbie to stay away from my man. Mama, I need Debbie to stay away from my man. Otherwise, I might not be held responsible for any actions I take. Stay away. That young girl is unbeaten over your supposedly relationship with her feelings. You need to be careful. Over your life and chances, watch your back. Okay, Mama. I understand. I will curtail my meeting with him. But trust me when I say Lucia is not a problem. <laughs> okay? But please, don't let me doubt your innocence. I won't, Mama. So how is um, Chelsea, my granddaughter, how is she doing? She's doing fine. Good. Not back from school. Yet. Okay. <laughs> You're going to pick her, right? Yes, Mama. Okay. Thanks for coming. Um, do you want anything? No, fine. <laughs> you just sounded so urgent and I was wondering if everything is fine. Yes, everything is fine. As a matter of fact, I should be asking you if everything is fine. Uh, you know, everybody knows I'm a nice guy. Yes. I cannot see something going wrong and don't say something about it. Yeah. You know, I brought you here so that I can ask you as my friend's fiancé, so to say. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, is there anything going on between you and Chris that I don't know? Like a problem? No, I and Chris were doing just fine. We're fine, okay. Are you sure? Yes, except there's something you're not telling me. Uh, no, 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 not like, not like that. 
Okay. It's just that there's something I am, I am suspecting. As a matter of fact, I've been observing it for long. Okay. I feel like Chris and Debbie are having something intimate. Chris, no. No, Chris cannot cheat on me with Debbie. No. But you, you are his friend. I can't believe you, you're saying this about your friend. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I am saying. He's giving me room for concern. Because if they are seeing each other, that means I'll begin to take her as my person. I mean, it's because of the closeness that we have. That's why I'm even telling you. I appreciate the fact that you trust him. But the way those people used to play, sometimes you see them falling on each other's body. Sometimes you know, they will almost be as if they want to kiss. Yeah, 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 yes, I know what I'm saying. Sometimes you see them like, like they're swooshing. Ah, I, I cannot even, there are some things I cannot say with my mouth. You understand? That's what I'm asking. You understand? No. <coughs> no. Chris, Chris. Chris cannot betray the love he has for me. Chris cannot betray the love he has for me, you know. No, Chris cannot cheat on me. No, he can't. Yeah, he can't, he can't. He can't. He can't. You understand? So I just have to tell you. Your love is the best. Are you sure he's really dating her? His best friend told me that. Babes, of late, Chris has been acting strange. And it's getting me worked up. I don't even know what to do anymore. Your and have you bothered talking to him about it? Like how uncomfortable you are with the relationship? No, I haven't. And that's because... That is because you have not even talked to Chris about it. Fisher, men like Chris are hard to find. And you're here nagging. I won't have any woman take away my man. Otherwise, this star would be too hot. Hey, listen, you don't know me, oh. Not, it, it's not even a single Lucia, girl. wait. Ma Calm down. Mm. You, you need to talk to Chris first before you make the time to quote for anybody. You I'm hear not, me? I'm not the one that made that video. Where? Did you not talk to Chris? Talk to talk him. To Chris. Just talk to him, Lucia. Just talk first. You find out. I'm sure everything will be clear by the time you talk to him. You hear? Lucia, please talk to me. Talk to you. Talk to me. Okay. Calm down. Your love is the best. The way you find you. You mean the world to me. Here, yeah, we're looking at 45 metric tons. We're doing CPU. So I'll just communicate the other way. Yes, I need to speak to you. Um, can I call you back, sir? I'll call you back shortly. Alright, thank you. Is everything okay? No! Chris, tell me what is going on between you and Debbie. What are you talking about? What has come over you? What do you mean? Are you cheating on me? Cheating on you? What, what do you mean? What has come over you? Nothing has come over me. Chris, I just want to know, are you cheating on me with them? Baby, don't you love me again? I mean, you used to say... I, wait, 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 wait. I still love you. Nothing changed. What's going on? Freak. Oh, okay, okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. I made a promise to my late friend, Desmond, that I will take care of his family. And that is exactly what I am doing right now. Okay? Are you sure? I am sure. Nothing has changed. I am just fulfilling my promise to my late friend Desmond. I promised him I'll take care of his family, his wife and his little daughter Chelsea. That is exactly what I am doing. I understand, baby. You, you know I've got feelings. Wait, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Listen, wait. Calm down. I think what you need now is a cold glass of water. Cold glass of water. Uh, please, can you get me a bottle of uh, the cold water? Yeah, cold water. Yeah. A bottle of water. Cold water. Yeah. Thank you. It's not even nice and sweet. Just calm down. You need, you need to drink some water. Please 
Sitz. So, what do I offer you? Nothing. Actually, I just want to speak to you about something that has been bothering me. Okay. Go ahead, you can talk to me. So, hi, it's Chris. 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 Well, that is actually the reason why I'm here. I don't know what part of it you don't understand that I don't like to share my man. I mean, you are a woman, you know what I'm trying to say. You know where I'm going to. Listen, Lucia. I don't know what you're talking about. Debbie, please. I don't want us to have problems. I don't want to come back and have this conversation with you again. Please and please, I'm begging you. Stay away from my man, Chris, my husband to be. Hmm. I did not stop somebody's own. Excuse me. Please shut the door behind you. Rubbish. Why does she think I have something to do with Chris? This is serious. Hey, babes. I'd like to find out something from you. Sure. What is it? It's about the death of your husband, Desmond. What killed him? What did the autopsy report say? I really do not know. Well, I think it was stress-related. The report says gastric cancer or so. I, I, I think it was Desmond that overworked himself without checking himself properly. Can I, can I see the report? I don't have it. What's going on? Don't worry. In due time, you'll find out. I have my reasons. Anita. Anita. Yes? I don't know what you're thinking. If you're trying to find out who the killer is, just forget about it. My husband died of gastric cancer, so the autopsy report says. Well, if you say so, I'm not going to stop with my research. Okay? Um, why is Chelsea? She's not yet back from school. No, no, no. Okay. Maybe we'll do, we'll do the school lunch together today. <laughs> I've I closed from work right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's, nice. let, let's give it like nice. 15 minutes. All right? Yeah, sure. Okay, good. So, how is everything generally? Everything is fine. Fine, but well. Okay. Jeff. Yes. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. Do you know who collected the autopsy report from the hospital? Why, why are you asking of the autopsy result all of a sudden? Well, Anita requested for it. But I can't seem to remember anything about it. Did she tell you why she wanted it? No. It's alright. So, how is Chelsea? She's good. Do you need anything? No. My name is Anita Peters. I'm here on official duty. I'd like to see late Mr. Desmond Williams' file. I'm interested in getting his autopsy report. Um, late Mr. Desmond Williams' file. That's correct. That report has actually been collected by a member of his family. A member of his family? Yes. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Doctor. Please, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, come in. Uh, Anita! Good to see you. Please sit down. You're welcome. What a surprise. Thanks. I was at the hospital. And I was told that someone collected this month's autopsy. Are you with it? Can I have it? Autopsy report? Yes. Okay. Thank you. 
absolute word. I have forgotten about all that. But come to think of it, what do you need to repeat for? Oh, for such purpose. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know where I kept it. Um, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll search for it and I'll get back to you. That's okay. When you lay your hands on it, just get back to me. All right, sure. Thank you very no much. No problem. Just um, have a nice day, okay? You too. <laughs> just leave me on. All right, take care. Okay, yeah. bye. Bye. a question and I want you to answer me correctly I'm here talking about my boyfriend misbehaving you're here asking me questions I want him to answer obviously I'm in your classroom ask you have not answered my question will you answer me or not okay just say just say do you really love Chris are you serious listen no. Because I cannot believe you of all people will ask me that question now. As in you just ask the very stupid question since I know you. How can you ask me if I love Chris? Yes, I do. I just want to be sure. Now that you are shown sure, blessing, what is this? Just say it. I came here for you to help me. Stop messing up on my brain. You should inquire from him why he's too busy for you. Talk to him from your heart. If possible, tell him, let him know how uncomfortable you are with his recent attitude. Triple what? you have a point. Honestly, I have not spoken to him about this. Think how you... says he didn't even know about the inners oh, that's that this mom was that killers oh my god 
Thank you very much. This will really go a long way in my research. Anything for you, for family. <laughs> it's alright. Do have a lovely day. You too, man. Madam, trust me when I say this report was tampered with. It does not belong to the late Mr. Desmond Williams. I think it belongs to someone else. But was there any trace to Mr. Desmond's original report? Oh yeah, we had to trace back to our database and we shockingly realized Mr. Desmond Williams was arrested. I knew it! I knew it! What a shocking world. I think I have the report here, the original report, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, this is the original report. Go through it and you will you will be able to fix the dots yourself. I was actually on my way out, but oh, it's fine. How are you? How have you fine, been? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that's uh, okay. Chris, I was actually carrying out the research and, and I felt you'd be of help to me. Okay. Yeah, concerning your your late first Desmond, oh. um, how you find a business without him? <sighs> oh, what a question. Yeah, I would, um, I'll tell you the truth. It's not been easy. Trust me, it's not. Because Desmond was very, very good in the area of marketing yeah. and I am not yeah. so right now I'm finding it very difficult to connect with the clients yeah. you know to interact with them okay. in that aspect okay. but it's okay I'm trying I'm, I'm trying my best you that's know nice. yeah that's nice um 